First at five, a defunct system within the Austin Police Department. Apparently it's broken and no one in IT can fix it. That's what Austin's police chief is saying about the system in place to help struggling police officers before they become a problem. A city audit found APD's early intervention program is not leading to officers getting help, even when their supervisors are flagged. KXAN's police reporter Jacqueline Powell explains why the police chief says a lot of that is out of his control. This audit details APD's Guided Advisory Program, or GAP. It's a technology within APD that's supposed to alert managers when an officer has met his or her threshold of internal affairs complaints, use of force incidents, or use of sick leave. Then supervisors can talk with that officer and provide resources if needed. But city auditors found that in 93% of the cases they reviewed, supervisors didn't find any issues, and in none of them did a supervisor refer an officer to services or recommend formal action. I'm really um, concerned about this. In a meeting Wednesday, city leaders asked the police chief why. He says the technology that alerts supervisors of issues is outdated and broken, and that no one in the city's IT department knows how to fix it. It's essentially defunct at this point. He says the department is going in manually and trying to identify officers who may have issues. We do clearly recognize that we have officers that need help. And so our wellness efforts have not stopped. Retired APD officer Dennis Ferris gave me some insight. It's just one tool in the tool belt for everything that they look at. He says even more effective than the gap is the employee wellness program where peer officers check in on employees. Like any other high stress job, you get uh, post-traumatic stress. Uh, I suffered from it to the point where I was having bad nightmares uh, at night. He says even after he retired, APD offered him special therapy to help. I went and I did a couple of sessions of it and lo and behold, my nightmare stopped. In this meeting, council members acknowledged APD isn't the only city department with outdated systems and said this will get the wheels turning for a large investment in better technology. Because you know, if you keep one officer from doing one, one, you know, use of force too many that ends up in a death of somebody, it may be worth it. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Well, the audit pointed out that Austin police tracked just three performance indicators to try to identify officers who are struggling on the job. You can see here peer cities, Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio all use more indicators that include everything from citizen to driving-related complaints.